Uh, hello guys, uh, here is the another problem on uh, ball bearings and roller bearings. So we will start uh, as in the last class we have seen about the bearings with the name and as well as the number. Now today we are going to see about the seen about the two bearings already that is uh, having the bearing name as well as the number. Now we are going to see only the bearing name but we don't have exact series to which series we have to select that we don't have or he didn't mention in the question so let us start the question here select a suitable roller bearing for a radial reaction on the bearing is 9000 newtons it also carries a thrust of uh, 5000 newtons the speed of the shaft is 1000 rpm and the outer ring is stationary Expected average life of the bearing is about 25,000 uh, hours. The load on the bearing is smooth and the service is 8 hours per day. So here is the question that we have got. Now the given data is nothing but your uh, given he has given as uh, the radial load he has given that is FR is equal to 9. 9000 newtons axial load he has given as fa is equal to 5000 newtons and speed he has given as 1000 rpm and expected average life life he has given expected average life he has given us 8 hours per, oh sorry, expected average life has uh, 25,000, 25,000 hours, okay. So this is the given data. Since the bearing is to support high radial and axial loads, we will be selecting a taper roller bearing uh, and which will be denoted by uh, a series number of SKF322 okay uh, also the suitable taper roller bearing is selected by trial and error method similar to other problems okay that is the, that is uh, by selecting a particular bearing its life is compared with the required life if the if it is suitable we will close the problem there itself if it is not suitable then another bearing is selected and so on the process will repeat again and again okay so what we are going for a trial and error method so here in this it is given as average life so the average life he has given so the nominal life is nothing but 25000 hours by 5 so we have to go for uh, uh, for calculating the nominal life we have to do it by 5 so we will be getting around 5000 hours okay so this is what we have got now we have to select uh, a suitable taper roller bearing so why sir we are going for taper roller bearing means since it is since it is uh, in the question he has set, asked us to find out uh, for a bearing of uh, high road high radial and axial loads we are going for taper roller bearing so in the question itself he has uh, selected for roller bearing okay so that's why we are going for taper roller bearings since the roller bearings will carry heavier loads than ball bearings uh, save having the same external dimensions uh, uh, you might be thinking that sir we are asked us to find out uh, roller bearing why can't we choose for a cylindrical bearing as the cylindrical bearings are uh, used for cylind uh, used for only the radial loads whereas the uh, thrust roller bearings are used for axial loads whereas the taper roller bearing can carry both radial loads as well as axial loads uh, combinedly okay so that's why we are preferring for roller bearings okay so in the page number if you go for the page number uh, 
20.29 you can find the series of so in the page number 20.29 you can find the series of taper roller bearing where you can select uh, different uh, series numbers and based on the diameter in maximum conditions we can go for the uh, select the bearing based on the diameter conditions but in this case he didn't mention as the diameter so that's why we are going for uh, a trial and error method okay so the trial and error method we have to start from the beginning itself if you start from the beginning means it will takes a lot of steps that's why i am going for a selection of uh, 3 to 1 to okay i am starting from here so that we can get a nearest value okay so you can if you want you can select the bearing that starts from here or else you can start from any of the middle value so that we can get a nearest value okay so let us start the problem so here he did, uh, we have the first step we have to do for the ball bearing or roller bearing is we have to do the calculation for fa by fr in order to uh, calculate the equivalent bearing load for calculation of equivalent equivalent bearing load we have the formula of p is equal to v x f r plus v f a into s so we have to select uh, radial and axial load factors that's why we have to do the f a by f r values for taper roller bearing we have to select the series okay so we have to do first f a by f r value so here is the taper roller bearing uh, uh, radial and axial load factors values in page number 20.8 so let us start the problem the first thing that we have to do is fa by fr value fa by fr value that is 5000 by 9000 so i have got an answer of uh, 0 0.55 which is uh, so let us see in the data book so we have selected a taper roller bearing of uh, 32212 series okay we have selected the series of 32212 series so that's why the value will lies here okay so i am taking the values of this so the e uh, we have got fa by fr value is 0 0.55 value i have got so the e value is less so the value that i have got is greater than the e value so the e value here is 0 0.41 so i have got 0 0.55 so i have to select the value of uh, 0 0.4 and 1.5 because fa by fr value if we got fa by fr value greater than e means we have to select uh, 0 this this cell this rows okay okay we have to select these two conditions x and y so the x value is 0 0.4 y value is 1.45 so next we have to do the bearing equivalent bearing load condition equivalent bearing load p is equal to v x f r plus f y into s yes. so this is the formula we are having in the page number uh, one minute let me show you that so here is the pro formula in page number uh, 20.2 okay so we can find the v x f r plus y f a into s okay so this is the formula we are having for equivalent bearing load conditions okay so the next thing that we have to do is we have to place the so here in the question itself he has mentioned as uh,
outer ring is stationary so in the question he has mentioned as outer ring is stationary if the outer ring is stationary means what we have to take and v is equal to 1.0 for inner ring rotation and outer ring stationary so in the question itself he has mentioned as outer ring uh, stationary that we that's why we have to take v is equal to 1.0 okay 1.0 into the x value is 0 0.4 into fr value is uh, 9000 plus y value is 1.45 into fa value is 5000 into yes the service factor value can be found out from the question he has mentioned as the the load on the bearing is smooth and this smooth so that's why i am going for a service factor of uh, 0.4 so here he didn't mention the exact uh, value so he didn't mention the exact service factor value so like uh, he didn't mention the study load or light loads or medium loads or heavy shock loads he just mentioned as the uh, as the uh, loading condition is smooth so that's why I am taking so whether the load is a study load or a, uh, light shock loads he didn't mention us that's why uh, whenever if this type of condition is arises just go for the uh, missionary element like a rotary mission or a reciprocatory mission the, the rotary mission value will lies between 1.1 to 1.5 so I am taking the service factor as S is equal to 1.2. So 1.2. So I have got the value of P as uh, 130 20 newtons. So this is the value that I have got. Next we have to calculate the life. So the life can be calculated by using the formula of one minute so we have to calculate the life l is equal to life of bearing in million revolutions so l is equal to c by p whole to the power of k so where we can get the c value so we, we can get the c value that is dynamic capacity can be found out from the bearing number okay so see here so the bearing number that we have selected is three two three double two one two so we have the dynamic capacity value is seven eight four five zero so this is the value that I, that i am taking okay so just we are going for a trial and error method not the exact method we are taking so be careful about that if we got the value that suitable to our requirements we so let us uh, start the problem okay so here the life can be found out by c by p whole to the power of k so this is the formula we are having so we have selected the c value as 78450 and the p value we have got 13020 okay so the k value that we have okay so we have already seen in the question uh, in the formula itself that k is 3 for ball bearings and 10 by 3 for roller bearings okay so this is the formula we are having so k is equal to 3 for ball bearings and 10 by 3 for roller bearings okay so this is the thing we are having okay so we have to keep 10 by 3 is equal to i have got an answer of uh, 398 million revolutions so this is this will be in million revolutions so i am calculating for uh, hours as in the question he has mentioned as in uh, hours in hours that's why we have to uh, take the value in hours okay so for calculating the life in hours we have a formula of uh, 
LH is equal to L into 10 to the power of 6 by 60 into N. So life in hours can be calculated by using this formula. So LH is equal to 398 into 10 to the power of 6 by 60 into the speed value is 1000. He has mentioned in the question itself. So we have got an answer of 6634 hours. So the nominal uh, nominal life that we have got is 5000 hours which the value that we have got is almost uh, um, greater than the value that we required. So let us try for a slighter lower capacity bearing since the required life is around uh, only 5000 hours select a bearing of uh, 3211 bearing. Okay, for this bearing we have to select the static capacity as well as dynamic capacity and as well as we have to calculate the E value also. Okay, so that can be calculated by FA by FR value. So FA by FR value is uh, 0 0.55. So FA by FR value that we have got is uh, already we have did this that is 0 0.55 that we have already did okay so um, the value lies between uh, zero, the same value because one minute let me show you that since the selected bearing is uh, between uh, 9 to 22 only that means we have to take uh, the x and y values as 0 0.4 0 0.4 and 1.45 only the same thing will be repeated okay the p value will be the same one okay the p value will be remaining remains same only okay so 13020 newtons only so next we have to calculate the life for calculating the life we have to go for the selection of uh, dynamic capacity so the dynamic capacity can be found out from the Taper roller bearing uh, roller bearing number three two three double two double one. So we have a value of six five double one five six five double one five. So the life is equal to six five double one five by. 13020 whole to the power of 10 by 3 so this is the value the life value okay so i have got an answer of uh, 214 revolutions so life in hours is equal to sorry i didn't see this life in hours is equal to 214 into 10 to the power of 6 by 60 into 1000 okay so we'll be getting an answer of uh, three five six five hours so this is the value that we have got since the life is less than the required life the previous one that is three double two one two taper roller bearing can be selected okay so this is how we have to select a bearing by trial and error method Okay, so based on the required conditions, we have to select a suitable roller bearing. Okay.